In my last video, I repoed this fully outfitted four crown vic from this wannabe bounty hunter guy who never made any of his payments. And in the search of the vehicle, I found a P80 ghost gun, which kept jamming on me, by the way. Well, this so called bounty hunter that wears his tactical gear on his day off is pissed. And not only is he ticked off that I took his vehicle away for not paying, he is also claiming that I purposely doxed his address online. He's claiming that I purposely doxed his license plate for the whole world to see. And he's also claiming that I exposed all his secrets online. This guy is a duffus. So I gave him a one week to come up with the money or lose the car. As of yesterday, it's been over a week. So the car is up for grabs. We're gonna go put this thing to the test. I'm gonna show you guys everything I missed from the last video. And we're gonna go test out that P80 Ghost Biscuit. We're gonna try new accessories and new shooting techniques to see if we can figure out why that ghost gun is jamming. Let's get started with the video. Let's go. Okay, so here's a quick recap. The car is a 2011 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. The car is fully outfitted with pretty decent equipment. So all the equipment works. The lights work. The sirens work. She's got 91,000 miles and the car runs like a dream. When I took her out for a spin, I noticed that she roared really louder than normal. After further inspection, I realized that. Check this out. This guy drilled holes under here, which makes it sound so much louder. So what I'm going to do is actually cover up half of those holes so it won't be as loud. This car also had spray painted back seats, which I removed and added some real vinyl back seats. Look at that. So much better. I fully detailed the rear. Here is a before and after. I did the same thing to the front. Ah uh, yes, the stinky feet smell is gone. So I realized that this thing is connected to nothing. Also, as it turns out, the Co3 Z3 brain is inside of the center console. It's a great spot to have it at actually. I was gonna replace this thing with a regular Satina, but a lot of people actually like this customized taller one right here now i noticed that the light bar is tightened down a little too hard so this thing is bold a little bit like that i don't think i'm gonna do anything about it i'm just gonna leave it like that but it's just something i noticed all the rims have some nasty gunk on it so i degreased and scrubbed every single one of them hey it's chocolate milk i noticed this center cap is pretty ugly and beat up so so I'm replacing it with better center caps. Here's the old one and here's the new one. Much better. So it's been a complete nightmare dealing with this bounty hunter guy. He kept texting me over and over and calling me and DMing me on every platform. So I had no choice but to block him. I did tell him he could have his gun back, but he has made no effort to do so. So I am going to give him a couple more days to get his ghost gun back. If not, I am going to turn it into the police and I'm going to film the whole thing. And Chase does not like the car for some reason. And Chase likes everything. That's it, people. He hates people don't know why but he refuses to get inside of there even though it's nice and clean go inside chase get in the car come on come on come on i'll give you a treat i'll give you a treat let's go let's go to the park come on let's get in get in get in get in get in oh he doesn't like it yeah it's weird okay so as far as the p80 some of you guys were saying that this gun was jamming because i was shooting with a limp wrist so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot with two hands with the more firmer wrist. If that's even a word. Oh, what is that? All right, so here's the magazine that it came with. It's like a 30 round mag. Definitely does not belong. So we're gonna go and get the proper one here in just a second. All right, so here's the stuff we bought just to be extra safe ear protection eye protection shooting targets <laughs> oh yeah we got um, new magazines so we bought a short one and a long one this is 17 and a 19 right this is a glock 19 it's a compact pistol glock 17 is a full-size pistol 
Gotcha. Oh, and how can I forget? We bought some nine millimeter hollow points. All right, so I, I got my safety here on. First thing we're gonna try is I put different kind of nine millimeter ammo in here and I'm gonna try shooting now without a limp wrist. So I'm gonna hold it with two hands and shoot it off. And let's see if maybe that's the reason why it kept jamming. I don't know, let's find out. Let's By the way, I'm still recording. Yeah. All right, so we got this target we're gonna set up over here. We're at the District 76 shooting range. We are being extra safe. Here goes nothing. No limp wrist. What a piece of junk. Still jamming. Hey, future Rick here. I just realized that I was not holding the biscuit again correctly. As you can see, my finger is way too close to the blowback right there. So don't do that, guys. I was only focused on getting the shot. Didn't even realize I was doing that. What are you doing? Get out of my dirty underwear. <laughs> That's Chase. Anyways, let's get back to the video. So we changed the ammo and it's still jamming. So what's next? So what? Let's try lubing it up to see if maybe that helps with the jamming. Uh, our shoes are going to need a bath after this. Oh, yeah. Anytime I come back here, I need a bath. <laughs> I got this spray right here, and it says right here that it's for guns. Spray a little there. Spray a little here. Oh, yeah, then we just have to cock it back and forth so it gets all lubed. Let's shoot it with uh, just one in the chamber. Look at this. <laughs> Still stuck. Oh. So I was not limping it. No. So we took the biscuit apart. Everything looks normal on the inside. We oiled it up some more and put it back okay, together. So this is for the ones who were saying that there's a serial number. As you can see, there's no serial number right there. But the guy did say that he was in the process of getting it serialized. Yeah, freaking right. Now we're going to try the new magazines. PMAG 10. See if maybe this could be the reason why this is jamming. Let's find out. Oh! No jam. It was the mag. Yeah. Flawless victory. Now it's your turn to try. Oh, perfect. All right, stop it. All right, got my helper setting up the targets. That's a good spot. Junior deputy is going to try and hit that target when you're ready. Do you hella miss? Try and hit it. Your aim is terrible. My aim is <laughs> garbage, dude. What the fuck? Let's go take a look at that because... I did hit it right here. Let me it see. It ricocheted. Do you hella missed. Guys, so the craziest thing happened last night. The junior deputy ended up getting shot. His uncle picked him up and he took the ghost biscuit with him. He was supposed to um, take it apart, try to figure it all out. And I guess uh, it went off in the house and it went right into the shower. Hit him right above the knee. He's in the hospital. He, well, he's out of the hospital now, but he was there all night. Uh, he can't walk in it right now. Poor guy. Let's give this guy a thumbs up or something. Um, F in the chat or whatever. <laughs> this, this is the craziest thing. This gun has brought nothing but bad luck. The, oh, the police is involved now. So uh, I'll keep you guys, I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> These targets are defective. <laughs> the targets are defective. Okay, dude. That's fucking unbelievable. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Now. 